Hello everyone, welcome back to part 4 of Solving Tactics on the Woodpecker Method. We are on puzzle number 16 and we have got another interesting concept here. And um, hopefully this one might be quite familiar to you guys. Um, you know, there's always always tactics abundance whenever the F-pawn is played. And you can see here we've got this very vulnerable diagonal potentially to a queen. So um, if I'm looking at a dream position, I'd love to have a queen here as I'll be able to deliver some sort of checkmate on this square. So we've got to find a way of getting it to there. So if I'm looking at any forcing moves, do any checks work in this position? Well, I could put a bishop here, but even after king captures, I can't really see any good follow-up to that. But I've got a nice check capture here. I could capture this pawn. After this pawn captures, suddenly my queen comes into the position. So that looks pretty good. The king would have to move somewhere. And after that, I can deliver a very strong check on f7. There's not really many squares I can go to. Go to uh, to d6, and after that, I can uh, let's see. I mean, I can just jump in with this bishop here. Even I think that looks pretty good. Or um, I mean, there's probably even e6 probably works as well, potentially. Or actually, after the bishop. Uh, no, I don't know. I mean, there's some there's some good moves. I mean, potentially there's a lot of... If the king is here, <laughs> put it this way, if the king is here, there's probably some sort of uh, winning tactic there that should win. So anyway, I'm going to capture there. Queen comes here. Okay, so apparently the white won after 26 moves. So there was a bit of a defense from uh, black in this particular simultaneous. But let's see, if I calculate here, here, uh, goes here. Um, where could I go? Oh, I could just do that, couldn't I? That looks that looks pretty good. Has to sacrifice some sort of material to be able to survive the position. Uh, after knight captures, you could take there. King is in the middle of the board. I could then move in there, hitting the rook. Oh, everything just falls. Everything's fine. In fact, I think actually I would even probably be inclined to just castle. And just get on with the mate <laughs> in that position instead of bothering with taking the bishop over here. But yeah, you can kind of see so many. This is the problem. Whenever you move the f pawn, there's always tactics. Always tactics can fly in. Right, next position. So here we go. Okay, so with this one, um, it's this. This is just a forcing move one. Uh, if we capture here, that releases this discovered attack on this bishop. So after knight captures, the king has to move somewhere, but the knight can jump in, take it away, but we still take the bishop, so we're, we're winning in that position. If he moves the king as well, another thing, a variation, we just take the, the knight, we're doing absolutely fine, um, and that actually comes with a check as well. If he moves the king forwards, again, we're not too worried about this, we can capture the knight, we're up a pawn. Uh, or actually, in that in that case, actually, we're probably better to take with the bishop because we'll exchange that off. And uh, wherever this, uh, if this king, oh no, actually, maybe probably taking this way is probably a little bit better actually because we're hitting the. It's, yeah, it's a forcing move then. So okay, that looks like it works. Um, and then we go here, and then then we win there. Okay, so that's that's straightforward. Again with this one, I'm looking, this is a very common theme, we had this in another video, uh, revolving around this weak f7 square. So this, this tactical pattern comes up quite a lot on openings, it's worth memorising. But we know that if we take here, after king captures, knight goes here, that forks the bishop uh, and the king. Okay, so capture here, capture here, and there we go. Right, next one. Okay, this one's a bit of a toughie. So to give us a hand, black is two pawns up, but that doesn't stop him from being precise. So, so here uh, it's all about uh, deflection in this particular one. So um, I'd love to have my queen on this square, delivering a mate and one straight forward. But the problem here is this queen is in the way. So I've got to find a way of removing the defender. And one of the ways I can do that is I can come in with the rook. After the queen comes here, I can then deliver a mate. So looks pretty good. Um, so there's not really any good defense to that. Um, in fact, there is none at all. I think he's got a check here that he can do. So he can run down with the rook. I move the king up. 
but there's not really any follow up to that there's no uh there's no other checks to be seen because uh oh, this this is here and this is over here so we do absolutely fine in this so that is the move you can take this of course but that there's this bishop now that's hanging and we've still got the mate threat available to us okay right next one I forgot to mention about the main threat, the, the other threat there. Okay, so, okay, with this one again, all I do about this, this diagonal, this should be a red rag to a ball. Go jump in with this knight here. That throws in the check. And again, this king is going to be moving up all over the place after the queen comes to f7. We're now actually on to the Emmanuel Alaska puzzles as well, actually, so that, we, that brings us to a nice, nice different, different location. Okay, again with these, this has to be a, a super priority. Again, these these sort of puzzles come up in a lot of the earlier ones, um, and uh, you know this one in particular is a great one. So after captures, pawn captures back. When the queen comes here with a check, there's not really any good adequate response. He's going to move his king up. After you retake with the uh, the the pawn that comes with another check, and um, it's just a very, a very poor position for the king. You could probably just run a new bishop and deliver a mate very, very quickly. So let's go here, queen here, and queen there. Okay, and th there's some other things as well. Actually, once as soon as this comes here, you've then got this fork as well. That's very good. Um, there's yeah, there's just loads of tactics everywhere that you would be uh, doing very very well in. Okay, right here is the next one. So again with this, we've got this very weak, weak uh, king king diagonal here. So so that should be a big indicator that this is probably going to be something to do with this. But there is a bit of a tricky tricky thing with this variation, and that's in particular after this port if this knight captures, um he doesn't actually have to take back with this pawn. He's still down the pawn, but he can actually counter for us with d five. And uh, against this, um I can never remember <laughs> the solution here. Um I think actually you just play Queen Check works very well. Because we're threatening mate here. So then he has to move forward, and then we 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 do all kinds of stuff with this. But that's that's essentially the tactic. The whole the whole theme around this tactic is just around this weak, the weak king's file. So again, this diagonal. If you ever see this weak diagonal, that should be an indicator that there's some sort of tactic. Particularly when we've got so many good pieces already placed already. If you can have two or three pieces, even three pieces more attacking a king, it should be a good. Indicate if he's got nothing to defend it, you should be able to win this and deliver some sort of mate. Okay, so we're going to capture here, and that d5 thrust is what I was uh, talking about. So it looks as though this is creating a fork on our pieces, but thankfully we've got a check to save us. Uh, there's no, there's no good ways of getting out of it as well. He can't really come forward because we just jump in here with another check. The king runs up here. Um, We've got, I think actually we can even do, no, can we do knight there? Yeah, I mean that could work too, just fork. But I think the queen line, this probably, it probably actually survives funnily enough, but I wonder if just jumping, oh actually, no, okay, maybe we could jump in with the bishop then or something. But anyway, in any case, this is solution. <laughs> We're just going to win the rook. So that's, that's the idea. So, um, yeah, I mean... Well, it's funny actually in the actual game itself. There's the saying here. There's a, a source gave it as queen to e7, and then actually knight f7, which was in fact a mistake. I guess actually g6 works quite well. Um, apparently, then like queen to e. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's all a bit. And that was the final move. Apparently, the queen. I guess. I guess that would happen, but. But then bishop comes here. Really interesting. Okay. Well, there we go. Right, so we've got the last one here. And uh, and again with this, we've got to look at the fact that we've got a weak back rank here. 
So this quick, if we get something here and there's no pieces along here, we should be able to deliver some sort of checkmate. So, so that's the tactical theme. So with that in mind, can we just sack the house down? Got some lovely place rooks here. This queen's doing looking really tasty along here. So with that in mind, I'm looking at the captures. If he captures back here, we've got this lovely takes line there. So that looks pretty good. And if he captures the other way with the rook, again, we can capture the queen. Pawn captures. Rook comes diving in. So I quite like the look of that idea. Let's go there. And we're doing well. Okay. Right. So that's it for this. We managed to get to number 23. So we're working our way pretty swiftly through these puzzles. I um, hope you enjoyed this. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.